They have gone bravely, nobly, ever forward, realizing that there is no other duty now but to save the father. Oh! How are you, Paul? Oh. Glad to see you, Professor. You come at the right moment, Bowman. Just at the right moment. And as if to prove all I have said, here is one of the first to go. A lad who sat before me on these very benches, who gave up all to serve in the first year of the war. One of the iron youth who have made Germany invincible in the field. Look at him, sturdy and bronzed and clear-eyed, the kind of soldier every one of you should envy. Oh, lad, you must speak to them. You must tell them what it means to serve your fatherland. No, no, I can't tell them anything. You must, Paul. Just a word. Just tell them how much they're needed out there. Tell them why you went, what it meant to you. I can't say anything. If you remember some deed of heroism, some touch of nobility, tell about it. I can't tell you anything you don't know. We live in the trenches out there. We fight. We try not to be killed. Sometimes we are. That's all. No. No, Paul. I've been there. I know what it's like. That's not what one dwells on, Paul. I heard you in here reciting that same old stuff, making more iron men. More young heroes. You still think it's beautiful and sweet to die for your country, don't you? Well, we used to think you knew. The first bombardment taught us better. It's dirty and painful to die for your country. When it comes to dying for your country, it's better not to die at all. There are millions out there dying for their country. And what good is it? Oh. Oh. You ask me to tell them how much they're needed out there. He tells you, go out and die. Oh, but if you'll pardon me, it's easier to say go out and die than it is to do it. Coward! And it's easier to say it than to watch it happen. You're a liar! 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 You're a